All right, in this video here, I'm gonna go over Serato sample and where you might have some issues trying to get these letters to line up. Um, there's a couple things that you need to adjust because I know when you start in this fashion, things don't quite line up. So it can be a little difficult to kind of navigate. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So I already loaded a sample and by default, it goes to play and key. Now you'll notice that when you're trying to match this letter to your keyboard it doesn't quite work like right now i'm just kind of getting a little blip on my computer like nothing's quite working so if you notice this says f sharp and just kind of hanging out over here so that's not what i want um so what i do is i take playing key off and then now I'm going to try to hit the Y key so these match. And now that matches. So you got to make sure you're in the right octave as well. So if I go down an octave, you're going to get a little prompt right here. It says G sharp is out of range. Shift, shift octave up to C1. So that means I got to move this up. So you're kind of looking for this like greenish, dark greenish area. That's kind of like your middle C. If I go up, an octave you're going to get you're going to get presented with another or actually you won't you're just going to have this shift up a little bit to kind of these notes at the top when i start clicking on these keyboard sections here which is another thing that you're trying not to do here this says this is out of range shift octave down to c1 so let me select all these so again the key component is to make sure you're in the correct octave. I'm still off. I'm going to go down one more. There we go. So now I'm in business. So when I hit the Y key here, or when I hit my Y on the keyboard, these two line up with each other. This one and this one. So now if I go H on my keyboard, this matches with this. And this is just referencing your actual keyboard on your, you know, your computer's keyboard. So now everything matches. That's what you're going for. So another question as well is, I want to be able to, with this one, create um, a chromatic scaling for just that note. So what you would do is you would pick the one that you want, hit the keyboard. So now I can go up and down. Like I can change the octave. You just have to make sure you have this on in the sample that you want. Now, a thing that can happen on accident is if you actually hit the find samples, it's gonna take this off. So you gotta make sure that you don't hit find samples because you're gonna go back to this. So go to undo, undo again, go back to that. Now we're back to this beginning here. So again, hopefully that helps you out on Serato Sample, whether you're using it in Studio or in uh, Ableton, is really making sure that you have play and key off and you have the right octave set so that everything lines up with your letter here to the letters here. So hope that helps.